Yeah, so today guys I'll show you how to do the item list storage. This is a new glitch that's been found like two days ago, which actually like someone knew about it four months ago, but we the speedrunning community just knew about it uh, since two days ago. So basically what we can do with this is uh, create or like we can use a lot of items that we shouldn't have access to and we can duplicate metals items or key items and it's pretty easy to do so it sh shouldn't be too hard uh, especially on switch which I find it easier so on PC I do 30 FPS because it's find it easier like that what you want to do is to open the discovery menu and you don't need any discovery you just need to open the menu yeah, you can do this glitch right after um, right after the tutorial fight Basically, that's what we do in the speedrun. So you open the discover menu, and what you want to do is have this menu pull up. So when you close the menu, you want to mash up. And it takes some time to get, but when you get it, you want to go into a fight. That's one of the application of what... That's what we do in the speedrun, but there's other application I'll show later. You can do uh, go into a fight, and basically what's gonna happen it's you select the discovery and this discovery has a high d uh, an, an id and this id is like can represent multiple things and in battle it's going to be an item so uh, if you use for example the first id it's going to be a crunchy leaf so i just gonna i'm just like the crunchy leaf just pop up the, out of the air we don't have a crunchy leaf uh we have one wait it doesn't really matter if you have one or not but um, no I don't have any okay so I'll just do the glitch again if I can get it oh I got it but I pressed up again that actually happens to me a lot okay so you want to go into battle and what's really cool with this glitch is you can use some items that like, affect your party permanently so for example the spicy pepper that gives you plus one attack you can use it in battle so if i select the the, five, the fifth one so i'm at the first one now uh two three four five i just give myself a spicy pepper on v so now if i check my stats i should have three attack yeah you can do a lot of there's for discovery you have um, like you can only select from the 50 discovery so that's like maximum uh, from there but it, there's some really cool stuff in the 50 like you can you can't get every item in the game with that but there's really cool stuff so the, you, there's a super pepper at the, the the fifth discovery is the super pepper the sixth one is the iron seed the iron seeds gives you plus one defense permanently um, there's some other stuff. There's also the Queen's Dinner at uh, 32. There's the Ant Compass at 37, but uh, I'll show you that later. And there's some medals I'll show you later too. So that's one application you can use it in battle to give yourself um, items. But you can also do it with items on the field. All right, so finally I'm gonna use this bush. There's always a clear water here. And if you... Do the glitch, or you press up when you close the menu, if I can get it. Okay, if you get the item, you can select, you can do the same thing we did in battle. So now you can select your item you want. So let's say I want uh, a Queen's Dinner. So that's Discovery 32. So I should be right. That should be this one. Then you press A to select it, then you press B. And I got a mushroom square, which is 33, so I just messed up by one. But as you can see, you can pretty much like, transform any items in the field into like one of the 50 items you can get. You can also transform the item into a key item. Which um, it depends on the like what you use it for. 
but uh, sometimes it's useful. It's mostly not useful. You probably just won't an item from this, or like you can also transform it into a spicy pepper. Um, okay. So this one won. This was what won too much. So I should go. Yeah. Up. Okay. Yeah, that's a queen's dinner. There we go. So now you have a queen's dinner, and you can get it like as soon, even before Spooder. You can just, uh, if you have an item near you, you can do this glitch and pretty much transform it into uh, anything in the list. I'm gonna put in the description. So th that's not all with this glitch, you can do a lot more. So here we have a key item, the the ball. I don't recommend doing this uh, if you haven't finished the game, because you're gonna probably lock you out of progress. But what you can do with key items is do the same thing, then you select it, and then you go to, let's say, uh, 37, which is the end compass. So I'm gonna go to 37, right? So it says I I got a dead ball, but I actually got the end compass. Um, this is useful in speedrunning, but you can't use the end compass until uh, you have dig. So you can't use it right now, which is pretty much uh, useless until chapter four. Um, there's also another application in the village where you can buy metals and the shop. So I'll show you that. Alright, so in the shop, what you can do is get the lowest, uh, the item that costs the, the lowest amount of berries. So in this case, it's the Aphid Hag that only costs two. You do the glitch again. And you select the item. And then you select the item you want. So in this case, I want the Queen's Dinner, which would be 32. Select it, I press B, and I buy it. Now I have the Queen's Dinner. And what you can do is sell it uh, for 49 berries. So you, you can farm berries really, really, really quickly with this. Another application you can do with the Glitch is with the metals. You can get infinite metals. So, but you're gonna need some money for it. So basically what you want is do the same thing. With discoveries, you get the cheapest one. So it's 30 berries. And you can get whatever metals there is in the 50 discovery. You can do later on like better metals with, uh, you can do more metals, pretty much all of all of them if you have them. But you'll just need um, to extend your, you need to have more than, you need to have like more than 51 metals to actually, uh, to get like some ID that are, are further than 51. Cause the discovery only goes to one to 50. So that's why. All right, so now I'm gonna get, let's say, uh, power exchange, which is 45, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45. I'm gonna select the metal, I'm gonna press A, I'm gonna press B. I'm gonna buy the metal. Oh, I got present touch, which is 46, so I was one off. Then I got the new metal, which is present touch, and the, the, the metal is still in rotation so you can pretty much do this infinitely and get uh, a lot of metal and you can get duplicates too all right so here we have metal in the field what you can do with that is you can either get a new metal um, with like one of the ID you selected or you can duplicate one of your metals you have already have so let's say I want another another art it's Just open the menu like that, open that, and select it normally. Oh, I got another HP plus, so I, I was on the HP plus actually. Alright, so I got another XP plus. So we can duplicate 
your stuff, pretty much. But uh, be aware that you might like lose some metal, so yeah, do that. Like I, I would only advise to do it with items that respawns, so you don't actually lose progress. All right, here we are again. I forgot to show you guys something, uh, which goes on the same. Like if you do the same glitch with Queen's Dinner. Or with any items. You need at least two items to do this. Oh, I'm on 60 FPS, I forgot. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I got it. I just need to get it again. Okay, so you can select the item, and if you have nine, you can select your like the item you want, but you only have access to two items. So now I can duplicate my Queen's Dinner pretty much. So I got a third one. So that way you can duplicate any item you want, even if they are outside the the 50 ID barriers. That's pretty neat. All right, so I showed you guys. Pretty much all what we know about the glitch. I didn't get into too much details, but what you need to know is pretty much everything in the list, uh, in this list, this metal list, the item list, and the key item list has an ID. Uh, the key item and items are, has a, ch a shared ID, so like they have, they are in the same list pretty much. Uh, the metals and the, the discovery has a different one. Uh, every list here defaults to the metals, uh, the discovery list, and they all have all uh, item in the list has an ID, and the first one, so let's say this one is ID one, um, this is gonna correspond to an, an item and a metal. So the item is the crunch leaf, and the metal is HP plus. Just to make it clear, so you at least understand what's going on with the glitch. Alright, in the overworld, um, pretty much you, when you collect an item, you have some text. And what you want to do is, as I explained earlier, um, you want to do open the menu in the overworld. So you do the glitch where you mash A up, you mash up, and you close the menu. You close the menu, then you mash up. You don't you don't do this. They do this, uh, both at the same time. And I just got it and I it. Alright, so when you collect an item, the text doesn't proceed, so it doesn't write like you got an eye drop. Because when you collect it, it pretty much like it sets the ID of the collected item to the eye drop, but then because you have the menu open, it doesn't like proceed with the, the collecting of the item. So what you do is when you actually select an item, you set the ID of the collected item to another ID. So if I do this one, two, three, four, five. So this is spicy pepper, and I press B. And I got a spicy a super pepper in my item list. And it's still usable. So there you go. That's the glitch. Alright, so some stuff I forgot to mention earlier. Uh, I would recommend to save before doing the glitch. Cause if you cause there's a chance you soft luck in the menu. If you open the menu again and you go into items, uh, the game will soft lock. So don't do that <laughs> and please save uh, before you do. Also, there's um, another stuff. Every, like, let's say, item, if you collect an item in the overworld, it would go into the item list in your menu. Same thing with the key item, same thing with the medals. So you can't, like, try to change a medal to an item, something like that. And that's pretty much everything I know about the glitch. I've, I probably forgot some stuff because there's a lot of to talk about, but that's the, the gist of it. So I hope you guys understand it more and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.